Hey guys, uh, I've got these in the post. Um, these came from um, Julius. Hi Julius, how are you doing mate? Uh, Handy has sent me um, some graphics cards. Oh, a, ba a baby one and a, and a big one, yeah. Some graphics cards. Uh, and um, Julius says, hi Richard. Uh, Thank you for accepting my cards. Your initiative is really generous. Uh, I wish I had something to offer to send with uh, these cards, but I do have gratitude and hope. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, hope they make interesting uh, fixes for your channel. It'll be interesting to see if they are salvageable. Okay, so these are possibly salvageable cards yeah uh, I had an old ATI Radian card I think I've thrown away that would have been interesting to fix it is S video out so it is ideal for some retro gaming okay so thanks Julius for sending these in um, for those of you who have not been on the channel so long you know I actually offered uh, a free repair service uh, up until the end of this month and there's there's still a week to go, uh, and I've said that anything that's in transit to me by the end of this week will still be repaired when it arrives, yeah? So basically, the service is free, um, you just pay for the parts, yeah? And I'll make a video of the repair, so any parts that are needed, you'll see what they are and uh, how much they will cost, and it's your choice, yeah? So all I ask is that you pay the postage, yeah? You pay the postage to me, and then I'll give you, you know, I'll go to the post office where there's a stuff comes back and tell you how much it's going to cost yeah okay so there's still time yeah i've got at least three other packages on the way that i know of yeah uh mixture of motherboards and graphics cards and i have one more uh thomas i've got one more of yours as well uh, i'll look at these and now i get onto yours as well yeah your other one uh, your first one's now waiting for parts as you know yeah so anyway enough waffle what have we got we've got an r9380 I wonder if there's a... Well, I've ordered the bits now. I had the R9390 that had a missing component, yeah. Uh, but this, this might give us some information. So, MSI uh, on R8 uh, Gaming, 4 gig. R8380, yeah, R9380, yeah. And we have this little, uh, this baby here, which I guess is obviously a low-profile card out of something. RX460, 4 gig, low-profile, yeah. Uh, so these are the two cards. So uh, well, let's have a look at this one first. See, these are the biggest, yeah. And let's see, uh, as Julia says, is it salvageable, yeah? Okay, so what we got? My first approach normally is to plug these, sorry, not, is not to plug these in. I like to open them up and have a look first for any visibly burnt or damaged components, yeah. Uh, before we start plugging things in. So I'll take this apart and let's have a look to see what we have here. So the first oh, thing, or one thing I noticed by the way, is one of the four screws in here, yeah, onto the heatsink. Actually had a warranty seal on it and it wasn't broken. So unless somebody used a pair of pliers on the edges and removed this without breaking the seal, would suggest that it's not been removed previously, yeah. But the other thing as I notice, because there's no heatsink compound on this at all. Uh, maybe a slight trace, it's actually been evidence it might have been removed. There's a little heatsink, there's a little pad here. Heat, heat conductive pad? Well, that's a strange place to find it. This kind of. Uh, quite possibly. Quite possibly, so that suggests it has been opened up before, yeah, because that's not going to get to there on its own, is it? So, somehow, uh, there's another one here. Um, it seems to just go to the top of these two capacitors, but there isn't one for the other two. Uh, okay, so that's what we have. I have a couple of fan connectors. Okay. And we have another metal plate, yeah, so uh, we need to now uh, get this one off as well. Um, so I can't just quite see how that's held on. Oh. 
maybe this is just held up being held on by uh, yeah heat sink compound or thermal pads yeah this has all the thermal pads okay so here we have it um quick glance this looks like the vrm for the met for the gpu possibly vrm for the ram but there's another one here and possibly another one here hmm unless this is like the 12 volts coming in um don't see any obvious visible damage but let's zoom down on the card and let's have a, a good look at it okay um so yeah this is probably the main vrm you can see there's something on these uh mosfets combined mosfet drivers uh, but on, on the back of this there's like a thermal pad that is effectively pressing on them so i'm assuming that's what's left that you know effectively is what's left a trace of something on here it's like oh, so it's oily if you like yeah um don't say anything obviously burnt or damaged that's good On the other side, again, these are oh, these look like MOSFET drivers to me. Maybe these are like dual MOSFETs, effectively, rather than the drivers. Yeah, I mean, we have to have a look. Um, don't see anything damaged down here. Oh, it's pretty good to me. Just a, just a focus a little bit. There we go. If somebody's seen something, shout out at the screen, yeah. Tell me what you're seeing, but this looks pretty pretty good to me. Everything seems to be undamaged, yeah. There's no doesn't seem to be any physical uh physical sign. Okay. So that's what we have. Um Next thing then, let's uh, measure some resistances, yeah? Let's have a look at the uh, various uh, inductors on here, the voltage rails. Let's measure some resistances. Okay, so let's check some uh, resistances next. Um, I'm using the little multimeter because it's got a light in it for one thing. Uh, and it also has one extra decimal point on the resistance range, a little bit more sensitive than the fluke, yeah? I'm just uh, shorting all these together just checking how well it's zero in yeah it's fairly close um so first of all let's have a look at the 12 volts um now you can see here on this one i think you can clearly see there are some fuses yeah up here so one pair of fuses will go to each of these connectors if i go from the fuse uh, to, to the 12. yeah so you can see that uh, the fuses go to each of the uh, 12 volt connectors on the six ways yeah let's check the fuses see th oh, these fuses are not good yeah these are bad uh, so the fuses have blown that's the first thing we can say yeah the fuses have blown um let's have a look then so We'll go from this side of the fuse because they have blown, yeah. And we'll go to ground. Are there any shorts on 12 volts? No, there aren't any shorts on 12 volts. So the incoming voltages, well, the 12 volt rail doesn't have a short to ground, but the fuses are blown, yeah. Uh, let's have a look on the 12 volt on the PCIe. So that's the first three fingers here. That's okay. I don't see any fuse around here. The 3.3 volts to ground, that's a fourth finger in. Oops, he's just off the shot, yeah. So 12 was here. Yeah. It's full bulb lights, because I'm not sure if I can make that stay on. And 3.3 is here on the fourth one in, yeah. And there it is, there's no shorts there, and I can't see any fuses here either. Um, so why have these fuses blown? Well, there might be a short on V core or something, yeah. So you've got six. VRM coils here, yeah. The group of six together, and these are the MOSFETs or double, dual MOSFETs or driver chips, yeah. For each one, these six together almost certainly this will be V core, yeah. These two, 
Uh, one will be memory, the RAM, the other one will probably be the memory controller. And this one here is probably going to be like a 1.8 or a 1 volt or some other voltage uh, required to start the, the, the GPU part of it to talk to the PCI to detect. Possibly, yeah. Uh, this is probably the 5 volts, I mean, I haven't checked, yeah. And then there's a couple more little uh, coils here, yeah. So let's have a look if we any short circuits. So we'll look on the small ones first. Uh, so there's no short circuit on here to ground. Try this coil. Reading something, but it's not short. Uh, some more up here. There's no shorts on these, yeah. Let's so say this is probably 3.3 or 5. Probably 5 actually. But there's no shorts around this anyway, yeah. That looks all okay. Uh, there's a small one down here. Yeah. Then your RAM, you 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 um, voltage to the RAM should be about hundred odd, about 100, well sixty ohms something. I'm not sure exactly. Um, probably on these capacitors here by the big ones. Oh, uh, is that oh, that's the ground side of the capacitor? <laughs> Unfortunately, both sides of the capacitor are ground. Okay, we've got a short here. I'll just uh, have a look under the actual ethics these ones here or even on the coil from underneath yeah so we go to ground uh this is a coil and we've got a near enough short circuit unfortunately one side of this capacitor will be ground and one will be vram yeah that is not good what's on this other one short I mean, it's you know pretty much nothing. But if we go across the capacity, you'll see it. Uh, yeah, uh, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if V core is also short. I think um, the uh, GPUs on here read about two ohms or thereabouts normal. Yeah. Um, what we got? Short. Short. This has shorts everywhere, unfortunately. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what this is. It appears to be a separate supply from these. What's on this one? Short. Oh, in fact, I'll just go across the capacitors. These will these be. Yeah, that's one capacitor. The other one. And they're saying these ones on V-Core. So all I can see on this uh, is short circuits. Even if we can accept the GPU is a very low resistance, and on these I'm sure it's about 2 ohms or thereabouts, we can't accept that the VRAM is like almost, you know, point something of an ohm on the memory controller. Uh, I don't actually think this one's salvageable. Um, I suspect this would need all the RAM replacing and the GPU replacing. If it's just the GPU, the RAM's probably no good anyway. We can kind of double check this. Well, if we needed to. Yeah, I'll just zoom in on this. Okay, so... These capacitors under here, there's a whole load of them, yeah. These will be basically directly underneath the BGA. Uh, in fact, there's capacitors on the BGA for that matter. We can also check on here, yeah. And we shouldn't be seeing short circuits on these. And we are, yeah. That's gone. The RAM. Um, again, these capacitors, you see like the larger one, three there, yeah. And three here, so there's one on each of the, uh, in fact, for each of the RAM chips. I'm assuming this is probably on VRAM. Short. Yeah. I'd, we don't we don't need to do any more, do we? I mean, really, we don't need to do any more. Uh, this one's toast. Sorry, guy. Sorry, mate, but this one uh, basically is toast. Um, okay, let's have a look at your other graphics card while we're at it. Actually, just before we do that, I've just remembered I have another RX or nine three ninety here. Yeah. Um, this is the one that's waiting for uh, 
basically uh, an AND gate that was broken off. It's had some broken components here. You probably saw this on another video. So this is waiting for parts. So just compare with the one we were just looking at. This is the V core phase, yeah. And you can see on this one that I have 1.75 ohms. It's not even close to zero, where the other one's like really 0.1 or something, yeah. Just gone to another one. Yeah, 1.75 ohms is V-Core. And VRAM uh, on these, um, just remember where it was. Oh, I just want the capacitors behind the RAM. Same same way I was testing the other one. Yeah, I just found some of the big capacitors behind the RAM, yeah. Yeah. What's that reading? 100 ohms, yeah. About 100 ohms. So, with the one with the shorts on, well, I don't think it's even worth worth as effectively trying to you know inject some voltages into capacitor I, I can accept we might have had like a, a blown short circuit capacitor on v-core or on v-mem but to have two one on each just doesn't seem feasible yeah um i'm pretty i'm, I'm confident that other well, yeah, graphics card's got a shorted gpu and shorted ram i mean in these cases like one goes the other will go most likely at the same time yeah uh, okay so let's have a look at the other uh, little video card now the rx uh, 460 